Hello everyone, Steven Chelsea here at LPMA. Today I'm going to be going over three different arm drag setups from Butterfly Guard. Find a partner, find some space, and let's get started. I'm going to start in my Butterfly Guard. I make sure that my hooks are not already engaged and that I have a good amount of space between us for a defensive position. As we're hand fighting, I'm going to look for wrist control. I want to grab the top of his wrist with my same side arm and open up that arm to create space. With my alpha foot arm, I'm going to reach through and beyond his tricep so that if he pulls back, I can grip into it. Once I set up the arm that I want to arm drag, I'm going to take this foot right outside so that I can pull myself forward as I pull him beside me. I want to make sure that when I arm drag, I don't pull them on top of me. This is the opposite of what I want. As I set up my arm drag, I'm gonna bring my foot out and pull him beside and make sure that I turn in to block his hips. Let's talk two on one arm drag. This is one of my favorite arm drags. I feel like it's stronger. And for this position, we actually can work a gi grip into it. So to preserve my fingers, I like to use a pistol grip. I'll open up this space. With my opposite hand, I'll grip the material. Now that I have this hand free, I'm going to reach behind his tricep. And once I grip on to the material behind his tricep, I'm going to fold this into his diaphragm. From here, I want to arm drag, again, not on top of me, but beside me. So to help myself be able to actually really pull him over, as I arm drag him to the side, I'm going to connect the arch of my foot to his knee to kind of take away his kickstand. Open up the material, reach across, create my pistol grip. With my free hand, I'll reach behind and grip the material of his tricep. I'll fold this pistol grip in, and now this will work together. I'll take this foot, push it against his knee. I'm not gonna kick his thigh. That's a different day. For today, I'm just trying to slide his knee out and take him off of his face. Not only will it take him off of his face, it'll help me to redirect him so that once I set up my arm drag, I can start to pass to the next transition. So kicking the leg out, I'll arm drag here. Exactly. Same thing, I'm going to keep pushing this arm away and come up to connect my body to him so that he can't turn back into me. Really good. For your third option, this is one of my favorite arm drags. There's a little more work that goes into it, but because of the momentum that's building and that your partner is using against you, it actually makes the arm drag stronger. So it starts like this. Sometimes I start to hand fight and I want to get wrist control, but man, my partner's just so good, I just cannot set up grips or anything. And before I can, he starts to push into my shoulders and push me back, and now my base is being compromised. So the minute somebody puts both hands on my shoulders, I decide which arm I'm going to pay attention to. I grip control of his wrist here, and I grip behind his tricep. And as he continues to push me forward, I'm going to put my feet in his hips, and I'll push him back and stretch him out over his own base. Now, this will naturally make him want to pull in, and as he does, I can bring in this two-on-one arm grip that we worked on before. Because he has so much base and so much momentum and strength here, as I come back in, I'm actually going to lift and shift the weight into my feet. And when I pull the arm drag, I'm gonna use one leg to kick out this leg and arm drag him over it. From here again, I'm going to keep trying to push this arm away and maintain my body against him to create a wall. So when he tries to turn into me, I am in a strong position. I may even be able to come out and start to set up a back position. Thank you for training with us here today. Now you have a few options to work for an arm drag setup from Butterfly Guard.